All right, so for the 350 million download celebration, everybody got a brand new red Dragonstone. And a question that comes up a lot every single time we get one of these things is which unit should I get with my red stone? What's the best unit to pick? So in today's video, we're gonna quickly go through the selection here and I'm just gonna highlight a few units that I feel like you guys should really focus on and uh, hopefully I can just make that decision a little bit easier for you. Now obviously everybody's situation is different and ultimately it comes down to you know which units you actually still need, uh, what teams you're trying to build and so on and so forth. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna put all of that to the side and just really focus on you know the best units from the selection, okay? So obviously, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, I personally feel like the best unit that's available here right now is still this guy, the uh, Int Super Janemba. And the reason for that is because he's just a really amazing all around unit, you know, like offensively, he's pretty good. He can put out some pretty solid damage, but defensively, I feel like this guy is still maybe a top 10 tank in the game or something like that because of his ability to guard, to dodge, and overall, he's just an extremely impressive unit, despite the fact that he is super old at this point, he has aged very well over the years. And uh, even though the STR Janemba, the 120 lead, got an Extreme Z Awakening recently, I still find myself running the Int one over the STR one pretty often. So if you guys don't have the Int Janemba in your collection right now, I think he's a pretty clear number one choice because he's just better than everybody else here. The only thing to keep in mind is that he's not in a lot of categories, okay? He only has three right now on Global, and if you guys aren't able to put together a team for him right now, then maybe he's not gonna be as high on your list of priorities. But for the most part, I feel like you can't really go wrong with picking Int Janemba with your Red Dragonstone. Now from there, we have a few other pretty good units like the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta who I think everybody needs to have in their collection because with his Extreme Z Awakening, he is easily one of the best tanks in the entire game and this dude has helped me through so many different stages in this game, man. From uh, Super Battle Road to Ultimate Clash and so on and so forth. And he can also put out some pretty decent damage if you are able to stun the enemy but obviously that's not really his his role. He's just there to be one of the best tanks to basically take no damage. And uh, if you guys already have Janemba, then this guy is a pretty clear number two choice, in my opinion, okay? Now, after that, I would say a few other units that you might want to focus on would be the Tech Cell, who is a very powerful nuker, especially when paired up with one of the other cells. And then we also have uh, the Fizz Kid Boo, who, you know, to this day is the, I would say, best support in the game at full HP. Key plus 2, attack and defense plus 50% to all allies is still insane. And I would say the Tech Beerus is, uh, you know, nothing too special, but really good damage, some solid defense, got that rage mode too. And if you guys don't have another better Beerus, like the Fizz one, then this guy's not a bad replacement. And other than that, out of the Dokkan Festival exclusive units, the last one I'll highlight is the STR Super Gogeta, who is great offensively, but definitely a little bit lacking on defense. And the same thing applies to the Fizz Full Power Frieza. Good damage, but not the best on defense. And uh, everyone else, I think has kind of aged poorly, like the STR Broly, for example, is a pretty good attack all unit, but he's way outclassed by a lot of other attack all units at this point. And this guy was never really that impressive from the start. I mean, of course he is usable. These units are all usable with their Extreme Z Awakenings. It's just some of them have aged a lot better than the others. Like for example, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, he was the first ever Extreme Z Awakening in the game, and when he first got the EZA, we were blown away, right? Because he got a huge boost on offense and defense, but now his damage is uh, not that great anymore, and his defense uh, leaves a lot to be desired. So um, I definitely wouldn't make him a priority, but 
what I would say is uh, out of the entire pool here, we got some Dokkan Fest units and a bunch of non Dokkan Fest units. I would put the emphasis on the Dokkan Festival exclusive units just because they're harder to get, you know, and these guys, because they're so old, they don't get featured that much. So if you don't pick them up with the Red Dragon Stones, you're basically relying on, you know, the Dallas Celebration tickets or, um, you know, the Red Dragon Stones, essentially. Like, there are only a few ways to get these guys now because they're not going to be featured that much on your standard Dokkan Fest banners. So if you guys are missing any of these Dokkan Festival units, like the STR Gogeta, AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Tech Cell, Int Ultimate Gohan, STR Broly, Fizz Full Power Frieza, Tech Beerus, Int Janemba, STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, or the Fizz Kid Boo. I would definitely use my stone on one of these guys, even if it's like not a very good one, like maybe you are just missing Super Saiyan 3 Goku or Ultimate Gohan, because they're just so much more rare, so much harder to get than the uh, non Dokkan Fest units who are featured, or not featured, but available on every single banner in the game, you know? Now, if you guys already have all of the Dokkan Fest units, then I will point out a few of the uh, non Dokkan Fest units that are maybe worth the pickup. So, first things first, we have the STR Topo, who is a fantastic support unit, and also a great tank when you're below a certain amount of HP, so he's definitely worth consideration. And then after that, um, there are a bunch of very solid units here, like the Metal Cooler is a good extreme support. Uh, the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta here can be an amazing tank on longer events. In fact, he just helped me beat the uh, GT Legendary Goku event with a Connected Hope team for the first time. So he's worth consideration. Um, who else do we have here? Uh, these guys are all okay, but nothing special. Uh, AGL Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, I think, is worth thinking about. She uh, can get some really good defense. She has the dodge chance. She pairs well with, uh, you know, that Universe 6 team. So she's not bad. Same thing with the Fizz Berserk Kale. In fact, her damage output is actually really, really crazy. And uh, she gets like 60%. I think it's 60% damage reduction for the first 6 turns, so she can also be a great tank in shorter events. And then for longer events, uh, she's able to maintain her damage reduction, but it takes a lot of orbs, so uh, she's not going to be as consistent in those situations, but definitely not a bad choice either. And lastly, we have the Tech Kaoken Goku and the Fizz Vegeta, and these guys are great for longer events because they both stack attack and defense. And uh, Vegeta specifically is really good for the legendary Goku events, both the regular one and the GT one. And the Goku is uh, obviously better against Vegeta's, but you can still use him for uh, any of the longer events like the Infinite Dragon Ball History, legendary Goku event, and all that stuff. So uh, there you go, guys. Those are a few units that I would focus on. Like I said, get the Dokkan Fest units first before you move on to the non Dokkan Fest units. But uh, hopefully this video, you know, helped you guys decide which unit to get. I know that the selection really hasn't changed that much for a while. I'm hoping that they update it sometime in the near future, maybe for the next Red Dragon Stone. But for the time being, uh, those are the units. Those are the ones that I feel like are uh, still worth picking up. And if you're curious about which one I'm personally going to go for, um, it's got to be gotta be this guy right here man the uh, elder kai because for me everybody else is rainbowed so um that is a pretty obvious choice but yeah that is gonna be today's video guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out